Hello everybody, Lazy here, and welcome to Let's Play Firewatch. So, Firewatch is a game about a lonely, lonely man who is working in a kind of like a forest ranger type job, and he gets a call about these two missing girls, and he goes out and, you know, tries to solve the mystery of where they went, follow their trail, etc., etc. Um, now, now, this game, according to Steam, covers very adult-like conversations and I don't know. Apparently it deals with depression and loneliness so if you're prone to those kinds of feelings I guess I guess I'll give you, I'll give you a word of caution but uh, yeah let's just jump right in. It's gonna be similar in the same... I, I don't wanna I don't want to compare it to Life is Strange because that game is, you know, kind of a novel. It's kind of a novel similar to The Walking Dead from Telltale. But from the best ex explanation I can give is Firewatch is basically, it's an open book that you can walk through. That's a pretty good explanation. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy, I guess, the beginning cutscene. This is all blind to me, so... I guess I'll see you guys back when we get control of whoever we're playing as. You know, I think we can read. I think we can read this. Um, she's about your age. Late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out. You and Henry are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your major? You know major? <laughs> you. You're pretty. <laughs> um, we are drunk, right? No. <laughs> you slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I am a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Damn! <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Aww. I feel like something <laughs> is this gonna be like up or the characters die and <laughs> don't do this early you know how I, I pretty much just spoiled up but if you never played up or played up if you never watched up um I guess it's not really spoilers since the movie came out a long time ago but in up the wife dies in the very beginning of the movie and it's so sad <laughs> uh. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize right at right from the get go because I did wake up a little sick. So if you hear me breathing or not breathing, like trying to gasp gasp for air, I I uh I will remind you that I'm not getting choked from behind. <laughs> um, you can't change sensitivity for the controller, really? That sucks. I know you can for mouse and keyboard. Yeah, you can play a mouse and keyboard. You can even hook up your DualShock controller, which is cool. Oh, you can save. Okay, so that's how you save. What happened to Julia? <laughs> what happened to Julia? I might just switch to mouse and keyboard. The only reason I'm not playing on mouse and keyboard at the moment is because my setup is... It kind of doesn't let me... Um, play that way. I know it's kind of weird how... You know, I'm, I'm playing on a PC, but I can't play with mouse and keyboard. Trust me, it makes no sense to you, but it makes sense to me. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. <laughs> Isn't that what a relationship is pretty much about? You you can you try to drive the other person as, as crazy as you can. And if they still love you after that, you know it's meant to be. <laughs> you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Julia wants to get a dog. 
There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia Julia is in love. Why is my voice cracking? She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Alright, you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Ooh, there's a scruffy undersized beagle. Hmm. I'm always for the lady letting her choose what kind of dog uh, you would probably have. I do like German Shepherds though, but hey. If she wants a beagle, let her have a beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. 1979. You talk on, out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. <laughs> uh... In that case, we should probably get married. Whoa. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. <clears throat> Julia! I'm guessing we came from our uh, apartment complex? Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. That's weird. Okay. So this is the map of the area. Thoroughfare trail ahead. Did I get my backpack? I probably had have it on me, right? Yep. Okay. I hope I don't get murdered outside in these woods <laughs> by a bear. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. Uh oh. Oh no. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, okay. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh god, thank you. We don't need any heart, heartbreaking stories at the moment. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly being. Ha cl She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Yeah. You call her- Whoa! I- Okay. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feet. Oh my god, okay, I feel bad. I wanted to see what- like, not being a total pushover meant. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. <laughs> you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. You look awesome. Well, thank you. This music, this music is setting us up for a sad, sad time. I can already tell. Like, this, this is not gonna end well for anybody. Two Forks Lookout Tower, eight more miles still. Damn, really? Press A to climb over obstacles. That's a nice sun. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking a bucket at nights. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh no. Bucket gets kicked. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking. When she is stressed, you confront the attacker. Yeah, f you fucking beat his face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry. Your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Oh god. Something tells me he's gonna come back. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Uh oh. 
Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, Convince her to not to take the job. Oh. Uh. It would be so selfish of me to tell her to not take the job. But wouldn't it be selfish of her to take the job? I mean, that's 2,000 miles. That's super far. I'm going to convince her. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. I feel bad. Why, why couldn't we go with her? 1985. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. Uh oh. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were imprint important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Uh oh. She's getting dementia? She was she was found crying in the stairwell. Is dementia I don't think dementia is what I was referring to. <laughs> uh okay. Uh you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. It works. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Aww. Oh, damn. She drew it. That's a pretty good drawing. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that he, it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Uh oh. Where, when is the sad news in the... Oh, okay, it's right here. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. It has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Uh, some days you get that Julia, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. What? You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while you get, f you <laughs> for a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. If this was me personally, I would send her full-time. Only because I know I'm not a trained professional. And if sending her to a 24 hour care means she'll get the, you know, she'll get the attention she needs. That's what, that's, that's what's best for her. For me, it would suck because you can't see her every day. But knowing that you're at work and she's at home and you don't know if she's okay. That's not a risk I'll be willing to take. So you decide to move her into a full time care facility. Ah, uh, that sucks. I keep. It, she's getting. Is that a disease? You, I mean, like. I know old people. Old folks get it. I forget the name of the disease. It's uh Alzheimer's. Is that what it is? She she's starting to forget. Like her memory's just going. That sucks. Oh look, a deer. Hi. Oh, I'm just a lonely old man. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Uh oh, that's not good. You go out to you go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, "If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off." You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Damn, son. 
Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you don't if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you had an affair with her. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, it, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Is it Firewatch? Oh. Enter the lookout tower. Okay. What was that? What was that? Is there a sign? The, f the hell? I don't know. I don't know what this game is running at. I'm assuming it's 60 FPS. Uh, it, kinda, it does look like 60 FPS. Is there? There's no FPS counter, is there? I could turn it on on Steam. Um, I know this game. Okay, it does have V-Sync, so I guess it is 60. This game doesn't look doesn't look too demanding. So neither does XCOM. That game runs like crap <laughs> for some people. <laughs> okay, always check your cut your count your corners. That made no sense because this this is not a first person shooter. Okay, let's go in. Turn on the power. Don't tell me what to do. I'll do it anyways. You didn't tell me. Okay, anyway. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Who the? F Two Forks Tower. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Damn, I we have my wrists exercising, lady. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I can see my feet. I'm tall. I don't know what it's like to be a tall person. I'm sh I'm short in real life. Uh, hello. Um, hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. I want to read the singular minds. No? Oh, shit. This is detailed. Have you considered tapping? Consider the untapped power of your own mind. Ooh. Damn that wow. I'm pretty good at throwing books. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Oh shit. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. No, I wanted to see what she would say. <laughs> Damn. I want to see. Oh, I didn't get to reply. Oh, the typewriter. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk? What the fuck? That's creepy. That's creepy. Where where is she? Why are these windows open? Oh my god, it's creepy. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what, fourteen hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what six? Six forty five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Okay. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. 
This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Come from what Delilah's seeing. Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, yeah, I see it. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the fucking shit out of them? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Aww. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Super secure. Okay. Do I need anything on my adventures? Do I take a glass cleaner? Maybe I can spray, splay, splay, spray some glass cleaner on their face, in their face. Old Scottish oil soap. Why would I need soap? Death strikes at two. That's eerily weird. So I just go down without a without a backpack, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go do my job and beat up some kids. So how do I see compass? It's uh down? Yeah, down. Okay, cool. I do I love games that have this kinda kinda I I don't I don't know how to explain it. Kinda a cell shaded Borderlands-esque kind of graphic style or art style. I just think it looks so fucking... It looks so good. It looks amazing. Alright, so we have to head west. Um, she said there was a rope that I had to find? From a supply cache? She said it's on the way, so I'm assuming... Oh, is that it? Uh, copy information. Oh, cool. Map updated. How do I see my map? There's a pine cone here. Granola bar. I can eat it. Do I, do I want, do I want to eat it? I guess. Let's see. Read. Oops. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, 7786, Ron, hey man, uh, guy couldn't take it, so I looked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box, found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Okay. To review, kept notes, okay, cool. And I guess I want the rope. Deal with whoever's setting off the fireworks. I want, uh, is there a way to see the map? Like, let's see, notes, pause settings. Oh, map is up. Okay. Wait, you can change camera. Oh, so that's where we are. And we're heading west towards the lake trail. Okay. It's a little confusing. There's a cache 303 up there. There's a 
the cash right here. Medicine wheel. Cash, cash. So this tells me where all the caches are. That's good to know. Okay. Two forks lookout. She says she was at thoroughfare lookout. Damn, she is far. Holy crap. Okay. So where where are these fireworks? These damn kids. It's gotta be this way. We assume it's kids at our age, right? Like it's gotta be kids. It's fucking six forty five AM man. What the hell? Nobody got time for fireworks at 6 a.m. I don't even want to do my job at 6 a.m. Alright. Let's go beat up some kids. I mean... Delilah said not to. Shell side. It's steep. Attach rope to hook. Oh, there you go. That seems safe. This seems safe. No, no, no! Ooh. See? Aren't you supposed to have like a... Like a safety harness or something around your waist? Or something like, uh, I don't know. Can you tell I've never been hiking? Report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, my confidence. Make it. <laughs> be careful for Christ's sake. I broke my confidence. <laughs> How's it getting darker? Shouldn't it be getting brighter. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Um, okay, so Jonesy Lake. So I just gotta follow this path. Okay. Can I sprint with the map open? No, I cannot. Okay. Cool. Wait, does it tell me my object? It does tell me my objective. Deal with whoever's setting off fireworks. Beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Yes! I have plenty! I can clean this up? Why would I want to clean this up? I guess I am a fire watch ranger. I'll do my duty. <laughs> duty. As best as I can. What's that say? I can't read it. It's so broken. So scrunched up. It's like a red gulp. Red oh, red eagle brewed in Wyoming. Damn kids. Don't leave traces of beer. It'll attract animals. So I can I can report in. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, that sucks. I hear music. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Damn. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Yo, can I take some of this? Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Single malt whiskey. Do I want to keep this? I, I guess. Save for later. <laughs> you might need it. <laughs> Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. What beer is not your not your taste, Henry? You like whiskey. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? 
What, you don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. That's a bra? I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. By, uh... By the size of these, I can assume she's a B-cup. Should I report this in? I just pick up a bra? No, she's a, she gotta be a C, right? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, there are, uh, panties. panties. There are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Panties. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> why, are we pick why are we picking these up? <laughs> what? We took the bra? Oh, we left the bra. <laughs> what? Another pair of panties and bra. There's a. Uh... There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <gasps> okay. But two ladies is more than one lady. That's double the ladies. I can handle another lady. Says Henry. Who the? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Yo, bitch. <laughs> Get your fucking boombox out of here. What a bitch! Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Yeah. Who the hell are you, creep? He's just one of those. Fuck your boombox. Fuck your boombox. Firework and it won't be your stereo I rap. Fuck you, psycho. Yeah. Fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Speak to my butt cheeks, bitch. <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> Fuck your boombox. <laughs> hey, that go okay? I might have got a little hot. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? <laughs> Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him now. <laughs> no problem. I picked that option because it was both kind of sexually off putting and you know sexual in the windows. <laughs> this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. <clears throat> okay, so we have to go back to Two Forks Lookout. We can't go back the way we came because the um the rope broke. So I guess we have to go towards Thunder Canyon. So let's do that. Saving. All right, guys, you know what? We'll actually stop here so we can uh, split the videos up. I don't like it to be more than like 20 to 30 minutes. So let me know what you guys think of Firewatch. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, a lot of the reviews say that this game is like a it's like walking through an open book. And from from what I've played so far, it's pretty on point. I do like Delilah and Henry. Pretty funny. Um, I wonder if my choices actually matter into how the story will play out but i guess we'll uh, we'll find out
as we play a little bit more. So, yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think of Firewatch. I overall, so far, I like it. I like it. I, I love I love story story driven games, especially if the characters are super likable and has some humor to it. So, um, if you if you guys enjoy the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Helps support the channel. And uh, if you're a new viewer, hit that sub button. We'll be posting some more Firewatch videos in the future. And if you are binge watching from the very beginning, I'll be posting the playlist in the description. So you guys don't have to look too far. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys for part two. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching.